Welcome back to the Junior Smalpy Channel, the channel where we talk about bullion, gold, silver, and world economics. Got an interesting story to talk about today, thanks for being here, because uh, it really drives home some good key points and things that we discuss in here often, with some pretty good visual aids as well. It's a must-see chart, as it says right there, must-see, and that's why I'm bringing it to the 7,661 subscribers. Thanks for doing that guys, there's a lot of you, and uh, you help this channel continue to grow. Must see chart, death of paper money versus gold. Let's get right into it here as we uh, break it down. As central banks continue to prop up the financial system with massive monetary printing, the death of paper money grows closer each passing day. While it is true that the Fed and central banks have been able to postpone the day of reckoning much longer than most precious metals investors imagined, the inevitable collapse of the fiat monetary system will turn out to be much worse. There have been over 3,400 fiat currencies, and all of them have failed. According to the article in Washington's blog, the average life expectancy for a fiat currency is 27 years. A lot of points there we've made in previous videos. If you go back in the archives, you'll see some times where uh, we interject that point often it's a theme here on the channel fiat currencies always die they will always return to their intrinsic value and that is zero uh, it's just a rule of economics that we have come to see repeated throughout history and there's nothing that says it will stop happening and no economy no nation state today is immune from that law of economics moving on here. The average life expectancy for a fiat currency is 27 years, with the shortest lifespan being one month. Founded in 1694, the British pound sterling is the oldest fiat currency in existence. At a ripe old age of 317 years, it must be considered a highly successful fiat currency. However, success is relative. The British pound was defined as 12 ounces of silver. So it's worth less than one two hundredth, or a half a percent, of its original value. In other words, the most successful long-standing currency in existence has lost 99.5% of its value. Given the undeniable track record of currencies, it is clear that on a long enough timeline, the survival rate of all fiat currencies drops to zero. Now, they put up a very interesting little graphic, and if you read above, it says, if we compare the average life expectancy for fiat currencies versus gold, we have the following chart. So there you see the average lifespan of fiat currency on the left, 27 years, and if you look, there's gold on the right, 2,600 years. So uh, this ties in very nicely with the, the story we covered months ago, uh, probably even a year ago, on gold being the worst, quote, investment in history. It'll eventually be worthless. If you remember, there was a gentleman who put out an article stating that one of these days gold will be on the trash heap of history, uh, akin to certain types of blackberries and, and other obsolete items that we as humans no longer have any use or application for. So, there you see gold, 2,600 years, fiat currencies, 27 years, uh, really helps disprove his theory, his little idea of gold one day being worthless. And as we can see here, gold has enjoyed a monetary status nearly 100 times greater than the average fiat currency. Uh, the author of the article came up with the 2,600 year gold money history according to date of one of the oldest gold coins shown below. And we've put images of this very coin on the channel in the past. This coin was sold in 2013, and in a press release, Austin Rare Coins and Bullion sells one of the world's oldest and most treasured coins. It stated the following, We have never encountered an ancient gold coin of this age in such remarkable quality, said Ryan Denby, president of Austin Rare Coins and Bullion. 
It's hard to imagine this was crudely produced nearly 2,600 years ago. The first coins struck for commerce, created by King Croesus in Lydia, modern-day Iran, are referred to as third stater coins and are made of electrum, a combination of gold and silver. This amazing coin, dating to 560 BC, is one of the first staters struck from pure gold. This ancient Lydian coin is about the size of a U.S. dime and contains a quarter ounce of gold. Middle Eastern and European treasures such as this have been becoming increasingly harder to find as governments have dramatically restricted the export of such artifacts, preferring to keep them for museum display or for the private collections of ruling monarchies. This pure gold coin produced in ancient Lydia is one of the best quality ancient coins in existence. However, another, even older gold coin was found recently by a diver in Bulgaria. According to the article, Diver accidentally discovers world's oldest gold coin. Here's an image of that coin. Similar from a similar region, uh, a diver in Bulgaria discovered what is thought to be the world's oldest gold coin, and the find was apparently accidental. The scuba diver saw the coin near Sozopol on Bulgaria's Black Sea coast. Bulgaria's BTA news agency reported and gave it to Bozahadar Dimitrov the head of the National History Museum in Sofia. The museum found that the coin appears to have been minted in western Anatolia in the second half of the 7th century, making it more than 2,750 years old. The coin is thought to be from Lydia, a land in Anatolia that's believed to be the originator of gold and silver coins. So again, a similar coin, a similar type stator, fashioned in the same region, 2,750 years ago. So there you have it, an even older gold coin, but this coin also comes from the region of Lydia, which was believed to be the originator of gold and silver coins. What is interesting to understand about a gold coin is its ability to last for thousands of years, while the lifespan of modern paper money is considerably less. Not only that, but if you lose paper money, it decomposes, it's gone, it vanishes. Gold is timeless. It has been on this planet since the planet itself was formed, and it will be here long after you and I are gone. Gold is nearly indestructible. The lifespan of the lower denomination Federal Reserve notes are less than 10 years. However, the $100 bill survives a bit longer due to it being handled less than a 10 or a 20. Here's the lifespan of U.S. paper money. Now, this is just due to the wear and tear of the money circulating. And as you can see there, dollar bills, 5.8 years, all up to the $100 bill, about 15 years, and everything in between, four, five, seven, eight, nine years. That's just the lifespan of the bills in circulation due to the wear and tear upon them, not the economic system that enforces their exchange between people, uh, the legal tender laws that, are f that force those bills to be traded and exchange between parties for goods and services. Now this entire infrastructure that holds together this web of, of lies and deceit, this entire economic system eventually has to come crumbling down based upon what we will see later on in our next video today where we cover some more news and articles and uh, look at what's happening in gold, look at what's happening in the global economy. So there you go ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being here. Thanks for taking part in this quick video. Uh, hopefully this reminds us of some of the key points, a refresher of what we talk about here on the channel. Um, how gold is pretty much the longest lasting unit of, of exchange on the planet. Thanks for being part of the Junius Moppy channel. Have a good day.